Now we're going to go to Rachel, and uh, Rachel's on the phone, and I bet you, as I'm talking to you, Rachel, your little heart's getting faster, isn't it? It's beating there. It is, yes. It Aww. is. <laughs> now, a, a lot of people has this, have this, and um, you, you're, one, you're worried about how fast your heart actually pumps. To ex just explain to people what it feels like. Um, I often get a really fast heartbeat, and I mean, it's usually when I'm resting, so it, it concerns me as to why that happens. And is there any family history of heart disease or heart problems? On my dad's side of the family, there have been like heart attacks and angina. Oh. Like so that. that always worries you when it's it in does, the family, yeah. yes. Um, what do you think? Well, the way I would think about the palpitations is, as you rightly mentioned, it's a very fast, uncomfortable heart rate, and it causes that kind of distressing, thumping sensation. It's a very common reason for people to go and see their doctors and the way I would divide it is whether it's coming from the heart itself or if it's extra cardiac so not coming from the heart and in your age group that's actually the common causes those are things like diet having lots of caffeine and sugary things that can promote your own heart rate to go into a very heart fast heart rate see I would know this Raj that yeah. um, when I have a fizzy drink or whatever your heart um, rate ten, does. Yeah, 10 minutes later so I become what, what, do I feel yeah. sort of nervous here exactly. whatever? I have that if I have too much coffee Absolutely. like one cup fine two Absolutely. or three I'm like and, the, and there are other non-cardiac causes which are common. For example, the thyroid gland which sits in your neck, it regulates all your metabolism. That can be a bit out of uh, just misfiring a little bit as well. But I think when I spoke to you, you said that you're otherwise quite fit and well. Um, and we, when we looked at your body mass index, which shows how heavy you are, yours was 18. And often when you're a little bit underweight, you can be a bit anemic as well. And anemia and low iron levels are also a, a very common cause of having palpitations. Now, I think if it was related to your heart, especially with your family history of having a lot of members of your family with heart disease and heart attacks at the age of 30, I would be a bit worried. And so therefore, Rachel, what I would say is go and see your GP, let them examine you, let them feel your pulse themselves, and they can organize a baseline ECG, which is just a trace of the heart to see whether this is just a fast, normal rhythm or an abnormal rhythm. And based on that, they can also do some blood tests to look at what I mentioned, the salt levels, the thyroid levels, and the anemia. Lovely. Good oh, well, luck to good you, luck Rachel. With that, Rachel. The thing is, as well, when you get worried, if you're worried, if you find, if they say, well, that's actually normal, your heart rate's just a little bit faster, then you probably stop worrying. It's when yeah. you're worrying and then it exactly. feels faster and the whole Absolutely. thing's exacerbated, isn't um, it?